Gary, as we discussed yes. earlier on in this show, we've been away for uh, three yes. weeks, and uh, therefore a, a couple of things we need to sort of clear up. Mm. I saw while we were away, and I was very pleased to see, uh, a continuation of the Triple M football ratings dominance. Mm. And I'm talking 10-plus here too. And for people who are listening, and everyone listens, uh, what 10-plus means is everyone listening. Yep. So this isn't a demographic. Mm. This isn't where well, we're just going to uh, grab out a little bit that makes our figure look good, like a, a 25 to 48 male or a... Mm. We normally, though, to be fair, our whole since Triple M started is 55 and under. Well, that uh, that's one you like to focus on, whereas for me it's more just everyone listening, <laughs> so the whole total audience. So when Triple M footy <laughs> dominates three of the four slots 10 plus mm. which is what just happened in the ratings mm. in other words more people listening to us than anyone else on three of mm. on the four occasions across a weekend which is gratifying because uh, we know how good the product is and everyone listens um Damo, what I don't know because i've been overseas for a month is how comprehensively that was <laughs> reported in the papers I, I didn't see it in the papers, Jamie. I beg your pardon? I, I didn't see it. No. no, I didn't see it. What, not written anywhere? I didn't see it. And I, as no. you know, I devour newspapers and I didn't, didn't so, see it. So when the first book comes out, which is only half football mm. and half just rubbish that happens over summer, mm. and, music. and another mob win, and mm. it's splashed over the first page that you open up, that again, yeah. mm. uh, Dead Station dominates rate. So when we dominate mid-season with three of the four books, 10 plus, not a mention in any newspaper. No, I didn't see one. Did not see one mention. Well, it doesn't matter because we, we mentioned <laughs> Well, we did a little bit. We wanted to wait, wait till you get back, JB. And we we needed you oh, because around. I wasn't here, I, th- yeah. I just presumed it would be comprehensively covered, Spud. We wanted to get back, and I knew you wouldn't be too happy with the fact that normally the green guide, it's oh, somewhere. six or seven pages. Just you know, somewhere, Spud. Uh, just a mention, you know, a balanced mention of who's listening to footy. Well, normally when it's the other mob, old Buffalo Brian's head gets in there and... <laughs> Jared Waitley he gets a run there and again. We, we well, don't get a mention. Maybe, interesting. maybe he makes those calls himself, though. Interesting is what no, I, I say go, to that. Peter uh, VSS says, what the AFL say about Stevie J's kick, please? Why? Yeah. What they say, Brett, Brett Rosebury has um, explained it as this, that he personally, as in Brett Rosebury, lined up the St Kilda defenders level with himself five metres to the side of Johnson. Uh, the players complied, as in the St Kilda players, and as soon as Johnson moved, Rosebery called play on. Well, so he would beat Usain Bolt, whoever smothered yeah. that kick. And he, I co- would... he covered five metres yeah. in yeah. .003. Were, let let me just finish metres. what was being said. Defender, the defenders came in at that very moment play on was called and affected the smother, and there was no 50-metre penalty because he called play on the moment Johnson took well, that step. Well, but that's Paul, the official... I'll, I'll say this to you. Better say that's the version. On, you've got your own show on AFL Media. <laughs> you've got your own show on uh, Monday Night uh, Footy Classified. Mm-hmm. I would be getting a still shot of that umpire and those players, and if they're five metres away from Stevie mm. J... I am uh, Fred Brayshaw. Thank you, Cos Cardone. No. Go on. Get on with that, Gary. Producing two shows. That's I'll it. Write, write that down. Two shows. Um, Tommy, two shows. Wow. Well, <laughs> hey, Gary. Come. You know, we're nowhere near five minutes. He would have beaten the man up. That's exactly That's right. Um, Blake. Blake. Just before JB goes to the break, uh, Danny, Twitter's gone nuts. Very lame first up tweet. Oh, you need no, to bring more to the right. table. I'm, no, that's I'm what the, warming, our well, followers next. are saying. You've got stuff next. I want so to see how they tweet after I... Uh, what? Well, next. Am I? Are you ready to go? Uh, oh, we'll see how they tweet after that. Jason what happened, what's happened to food? Are we not so, eat anymore? Let's go, Spud. <laughs> yeah. Next. Next. I, I was ready to go at 1 o'clock. Well, Jason Winderlick's at 1 o'clock, Spud, so get yourself ready. Am I going to cop it?